that did it. I had to, I had to trade in my eight-month-old chieftain on uh, a gold wing. We're here today with Don Smith. Uh, many of you know Don and I ride together, 2018 Goldwing. He had a red one, I had a, have a white one. And he just recently sold his motorcycle. And uh, a lot of you have been asking me, what, what did he get? Did he get a new 20, 2021? Is he moved to a Harley or an Indian? Or what's happened with Don? So uh, I'm gonna let Don tell the story and well, he and I are just going to have a conversation about it, and he's just going to tell me, and you're going to get a chance to listen in. So, so what was your decision to sell the bike? It's because the bike was paid off, and uh, it became apparent uh, since I was laid off a little over a year ago. Um, that I needed to sell it and use the money to get rid of uh, debt that was um, it was a, it was a car debt loaded down with uh, interest and uh, all sorts of programs that I did not want uh, and by uh, paying off that car I got rid of $5,000 in interest and uh, terminated all those excess programs that um, I had been tricked into by a lying finance officer. Um, and because when you're laid off, money becomes important. But I held on to that bike because that Goldwing was my Goldilocks bike. I began riding almost seven years ago because my sister, my little sweet little sister, pushed me into it. Um, and I had ridden in the 70s temporarily, but, um, and I went through three Harleys, hated them all, two Indians, and I was, I was uh, riding a, a eight month old, 2018 Indian Chieftain and thought this is the bike for me until I saw the redesign of the Goldwing for 2018. Right. Oh, that did it. That did it. I had to I had to trade in my eight month old Chieftain on uh, a Goldwing and uh, bought it on um, Star Wars Day, may the fourth be with you. And so, um, <clears throat> but I, we've held on. My wife is um, developing a business that is starting to get traction, but financially, our it, it's like a stormy sea. A moment your head is above water, the next moment your head is below water. Yeah, how about that? And so I had to, uh, I reached the point where I had to do some rearranging on the financing. And I, I, I sold the bike, since I had a clear title on it, with a very heavy heart. And, uh, and you sold it yourself. I sold it um, on Craigslist, um, but I demanded cash. <laughs> and someone showed up with the cash, and um, I had the clear title. And There's a lot of guys our age that are riding right now, and in the back of their mind, every one of us is thinking, when's that day going to come? When's the day gonna come where we say, can't do it anymore, don't wanna do it anymore? And you've implied that you may have reached that point also, that riding is just. Well, um, I just turned 76. And um, I'm still physically capable of riding the motorcycle. But winter is coming on, and you know I wondered how capable I might be next summer. It was a consideration, 
There's also a feeling of after you've gone a lot of miles, and my Goldwing alone had 22, 23,000 miles on it, accident free. But all of us can talk about those close calls. Right. And there were two or three close calls. I, I came very close to losing my life. Thank you. And uh, so you also rationalize, I try to rationalize the fact that I really needed to sell the bike and use the money to get uh, $1,000 a month in debt off the books to, right. so that my head is more above water than below water. And I was rationalizing it by saying, well, I am 76, but I'm still capable of riding. Right. Uh, and you know, maybe it's time. But COVID had uh, figured in as well in that before COVID, I was riding with other people all the time. I love to get into a group, go 200 miles or 100 miles just for lunch, right? you know, and come back. And that put an end to it. And COVID, it just, all went away. Also our political climate. Um, I, I, um, I don't mix politics and motorcycle riding, but for some reason more and more people that I was riding with wanted to argue politics. Yeah. And I did not want to, I did not, I, even if I agreed with them, I didn't want to talk politics. I want to ride. Yeah. I want to have fun. Talk about riding or and, motorcycles and or whatever, yeah. After COVID set in, it came down to hardly anybody to ride with. Yeah. I mean, they would ride, but somehow anybody that, uh, you know, I'd approach, oh, let's go riding. Well, yeah, 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 but it never happens, you know. And so, my writing just was almost nothing for the past year. Yeah. And so, so when time came that uh, I could see uh, an opportunity to reduce my, my debt by a thousand dollars a month, um, I reluctantly made the choice to, to sell the bike. Yeah. But I miss it. I miss Already. it. I miss it terribly. He'll be, uh, he'll be know, back. He'll be back. I, I, <laughs> I think I will. I, Maybe not on a Goldwing, but he'll be back. Not on a Goldwing, I'm sure, because I don't want to get back in debt but that much. Uh, but you suggested uh, a Honda uh, NC700 or the 750. Uh, I looked at those and I thought, well, there's a much lower cost of entry to ride again. Right. I like that idea. You also mentioned a bike um, that is not in the U.S. yet, the Honda. Is it? NT. NT. 1100. 1100, okay. That looks good. It's a little more money, but still half the cost of a Goldwing. But unplug my CarPlay, my iPhone in, and, and had the best navigation. Yeah. You know, and it's a smaller, more nimble bike. And that's what I'm thinking, something smaller, more nimble. And uh, So maybe by to, next summer, when the weather clears up, see how you feel. And you also just had a surgical procedure, which makes it hard to road, ride right now, so. It does. Um, <clears throat> for a few months, um, I, uh, two or three months now, I, I shouldn't be getting on a, on a motorcycle. So as you were debating in your mind the getting rid of the Goldwing and doing all this, I'm sure as a way to uh, taper yourself off of the Goldwing, you started getting an interest in this new Maverick pickup that Ford's come out with. And uh, tell us a little bit about your interest in that and where that, what do you think, is that going to happen? This was my master plan. 
when um, I when I thought about how can I rearrange my finances to get my head more up above water in a period of retirement, I have a small part-time job, but uh, it's not enough. <clears throat> and so I had this. I came up with this master plan. The car that I drive now, 2017 Ford Edge, it's the best car I've ever owned. But then Ford came out with this new small truck called a Maverick. And it was like the same as when I first saw the 2018 Goldwing redesign. Wow, I love that Maverick. And so my evil plan was to uh, sell the bike, pay off the uh, terrible, terrible loan that was remaining on the um, edge, edge. <clears throat> then use the edge as a clear title trade-in um, on, a, on a Maverick. Well, what I wanted in that Maverick truck, uh, they have two engines. One is a hybrid and the other is gasoline only. And I want the hybrid. Right. They're so popular. Can't get them. That orders for all the, manu all the plant can manufacture for this model year is spoken for. Yeah. Can't get a hybrid. Not new. <laughs> and there's no used ones out on the market yet. So now I have at least 10 months to wait before I could order a hybrid. And even then, it may be three months, four months after that before you actually get it. So for the moment, I've given up on getting a hybrid, um, a Maverick, that I still hope to get later. And you know, I can, I can uh, soothe myself with the knowledge that maybe I'll get one of those Hondas that you suggested, because I so miss that Goldwing. Practically want to cry over it. Yeah. Well, I have to ride up here by myself now. So it's a 55 degree day today. Pretty nice weather, pretty cool. I half expected you not to ride today because as I got in my car, I saw raindrops on my windshield. Oh, really? No, I, did. I didn't get any this morning. So I was, I was okay. It was dry where I was. But anyway, well, that's Don's uh, story. The Goldwing for now is gone. And, you know, if we had done a video like this six months ago, you wouldn't have had a clue that you were going to get rid of that Goldwing. So <clears throat> that's true. Nobody knows six months from now what's going to happen. Exactly. But on the other hand, ever since COVID started, it mostly sits. Yeah. I can go riding by myself, but the fun kind of wears off when you have no one to ride with, have lunch with, talk about the bike and trade ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you and I have a great relationship in that we just eat and sleep gold wings and video production. Right, right. You know, we have a lot in common in the exactly. computer. Exactly, exactly. And you know, and so this is why I believe we're good friends. And uh, you've got a new website and a new. I think you're going to have a well, new YouTube channel. Well, I've reserved uh, truckingmaverick.com to transform my uh, YouTube site from motorcycles to the Maverick. The Maverick is insanely popular. Now, it's because, it, wow, you can get a hybrid base model for slightly under 20,000. That's the cheapest in, in America. So I reserve truckingmaverick.com and That'll take you right to my YouTube, same YouTube channel, which is right now mostly Goldwing. Uh, Goldwing. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing the story. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for asking.